I had been in and out of architecture already, you know, once or twice. Uh, you know, I, I, I came out of architecture school and I went in the army. I came back, I couldn't get a job in architecture, I was in planning. Then I got a job in architecture, then I, and then I dropped out, then I went to study painting and poetry, then I was poor, so I, I needed money, so I went back to architecture, because because I can draw, I could always get a job. And because you, if you draw well, you can get a pretty good job. What happened was I would come and go, and each time at a higher level of, uh, shall I say, commitment and um, practice in terms of intensity, and each time find some reason why it seemed I shouldn't do it. So I flew off to England, and I landed in England, and I went down to Buckland. And the day I arrived, I met the woman who became my next wife, but I also, that day, at sundown, we walked out into an 18th century English landscape. And it was so beautiful, and the deer were in the park, and the water was down by the Thames, and there the sun was setting over the hills in the distance, you know, and the Cotswolds, and the big old 200-year-old oak trees and the meadow and everything, and the skylarks were singing. And I just thought, oh my God, this is beautiful. And this woman I was with said, yeah, it's one of these Capability Brown landscapes, you know, they, you know they, when they designed all this stuff. And I said, yeah, you're right. I think this is a design. Interesting, it's a design. This house is kind of beautiful too. It seems to go with the place. This beautiful bath stone, hmm, golden house, hmm, Palladian, interesting. The combination knocked me out. I've written about it. I wrote a book later about it called Across the Open Field. But, and I described that day and subsequent days. But that was when I thought, I need to know more about this stuff. I need to understand this landscape design is really, this is pretty good stuff. So that summer, I spent the whole summer buying books about English gardens and landscape and buying books about the history of that stuff. My first books of Jeffrey Jellicoe's about landscape design and ideas. And when I came back uh, at the end of summer, Grant Jones asked me if I would join him in teaching a studio at the University of Washington, and Rich asked me if I'd teach drawing. So I ended up teaching landscape architects a studio about site planning and landscape architecture and landscape architects about drawing landscape that year. And so I, I kind of just wandered in sideways. That's how I got the landscape architecture.